Hey everyone. Hey. Hey. Uh, I'm Alfred. This is Sarah. Hi. Hi. Uh, we just found out that um, the video we've been recording for 20 minutes audio doesn't work. Whoopsie doopsie. Anyway, so now I can actually show you from the proper start though. So slay the spire. You hit play. We have to do all of it again. Uh, so you get a few options, but this is the standard. So ironclad's the guy I usually go with. Okay. Silent. You get um, poison. You get the ability to put a bunch of like other debuffs on the things. The defect has a weird mechanic that's like playing a real card game where you have to put orbs on the board and then your orbs will do more things. This guy is just you hit things and they get hurt. So when you start, this guy talks to you. His name's Meow. So you can upgrade a card for free. You can upgrade our HP. He can get... All of these things are totally random though. So I'm going to upgrade Bash. Because that's a good card. Is that what you did last time? No, those are all different every time. Oh, shoot. Every single time. So, where are we starting? Is the map different, too? The map is always different. Oh, okay. Um, let's, let's start to the right. A slime. Acid slime and a metal slime. So, my upgraded bash is here, so I'm going to start with that, you better believe. Um, let's do him. I'm so worried the audio is just going to go out. Well, it looks fine now. I just have to remember to check my little bar here. So I took that hit because I had five armor. And then I took all of the armor. I took all the damage that he gave to me. So I'm going to get attack for five again. So I'm going to pop a shield for five on there. So now that'll not hurt me. And then I'm just going to put some damage on that guy. And end my turn. And then he's gonna lick me, which weakens me. Go little, little slime lick. A little slick. A little slick. So now I have slimed in my inventory, in my hand even. Mm. If I spend uh, stuff, I can get that out of my hand, but I don't really care that much. So I'm just gonna hit him. So can you slime someone, or is it just a very useless card? This is a this is a trash card that is put in your hand intentionally to get rid to to fuck with you. Like, I imagine this guy reaching for his cards to do battle, and he's like, ugh. There's all this slime in here. Ugh. Yeah, that's that's exactly it's what's like supposed it, to happen. It's, it's not exactly, like, hurtful. It's just inconvenient. It is. It's annoying. So I've got lethal on this guy, so I'm just going to kick his ass. So the thing that's great about the ironclad is that I heal at the end of battle. Very good. And then let's see what kind of build we're going for. Um. So the difficult thing about where we headed, by the way. Think what? about it. Okay. The difficult thing about this is that it's hard to properly deck build mm -hmm. on account of the fact that everything you get is random. So I could I could build things based on hurting myself. I could build things based on fire or just heat. See, I liked what you were doing last time. Hurting myself, block, um, buffing yourself, getting more strength. Um, deal eight damage. That one's all right. One's on sale. Ooh, it's on sale. Can't not get it. What was that? I like your haircut. Thank you. Aw. I do have like a little Virgil cut my character does. This guy's fun. Um, so he's not going to attack us. He's going to buff himself. <laughs> he's so cute. So that means that we don't need to worry about using these to defend ourselves. So <laughs> what we're going to do is hit him with bash. Everything you got. We're going to hit him with Bash to weaken him, and then we hit him with Strike to do more damage. Because normally that deals six, but it deals more when we hit him with Bash first. My power's unmatched! Like, this guy reminds me of a Skeksy. He is like a Skeksis, yeah. Where it's like he, he constantly uh, says how powerful he is, but he's just surrounding himself with like a bunch of crap to defend himself. Yeah. So, let me see here. Draw one card. Put a card from your hand on your draw pile, exhaust. Sure, let's try it. Oh, that's useful. Let's put that away. So we got this card from our draw. So it'll do a lot of damage and it'll weaken him. Which means that he won't do as much damage to us. So now he's only doing four. And then we end our turn. So that doesn't even matter. We'll heal that back by the next time. And then we just hit him again. My powers were matched! 
I love that guy. So yeah, we're back up to full health. And then let's see. Bloodletting is alright. Armament is good. Blood for blood's good. What do you think between these two? Uh, I like blood for blood. Yeah, it's useful. Um, and then where are we headed from here? We are going to the question mark. So one of the things about blood for blood is that a cheery looking gremlin. I, it's time to spin the wheel. Are you ready? Of course you are. So this will hurt you. This will destroy a card. I think this gives you a cursed card. I assume this heals you or something. This is loot and that's money. Okay. Oh. 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 Uh. Lucky me. A gift. Enjoy. A kunyai. Oh. Every time you play three attacks, gain dexterity. That's cool. That's cool. Wait, where did it go? Oh, I think I threw it away by mistake. Whoops. Oh, no. Oh, hello, merchant. Uh, and I spent all my money, so I don't have anything. Oh, no, I'm sad. We threw away the card. No, it was a relic. Oh. So we're at full health, so this is a waste. So relics go up here. Mm, I see. Um, draw two cards. That's cool. So yeah, every time you use that card, it gets stronger. So one of the things about Blood for Blood is, pray, transform a card. Ooh. Let's get rid of one of our block cards. Ooh, it's random. Yep. Spot weakness. That one's okay. It's the power of the shrine throws through you. Your mind feels altered. So hard enemy or regular enemy? Let's go to the regular enemy. I don't feel like we're ready for hard enemies yet. <laughs> Oh no, they're so cute. They look like our cat. You would think anything looks like our cat. Oh, anything cute. <laughs> uh, let's attack him because he's going to status affect us. Oh, or should we? Yeah, let's hit this one. Oh, they're little louses. And then next turn, we'll go lethal. I got big strength. <laughs> I hate that I have to kill them, to be honest with you. I'll make it quick, boys. They just pretend to be dead. They're like opossums. <laughs> and then, so this one doubles your current block. This one will give you eight block, and you also get a card. This one will attack and give you block. Nice. So that one's the best. Treasure chest. Treasure. Um, 50 gold and a maw bank. That one's awesome. They're good. So as long as we don't spend any gold, we will get 12 gold every time we get a we hit a new floor. Oh, these fucking guys. Oh, they're cute too. There's a lot of cute enemies here. Spot weakness. So this guy's gonna hurt me, so I'll use this on him. And I'll get a buff for strength. Very good. And then I will hit the weakest one with yeah. that. If you can get the weakest one out of the way, then that's I, one less attack you have to worry about. Yeah. And then I will take only eight damage, I think. And then we don't know what this guy's going to do. Sometimes enemies can hide what they're going to do. So yeah, I blocked that attack with one armor to spare. He was going to hit me for nine, but I had one armor left, so I took eight. Oh, he's charging up. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Um, so that's 13 damage. So let's... Let's get rid of the smaller guy. Would that make sense? Yes, it would. Um, and then I'll defend and annoy that attack as well. Charging up makes me nervous. It does. Here it comes. No. Okay. So if we kill him by the next turn, we don't have to worry about it. Oh my god, it's 25. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we got to kill him now. Yes! Hey, that's all right, though. Well, the only thing is that we don't know what he, what he was going to do. Well, his attack was going to be 25 damage. Oh, shoot. Yeah, so you see that he has a little four damage right here? Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. Yep, and his said 25. So, <laughs> you know. But hey, that's fine. And then we were generated, so we're back up to that many. Very good. Fear potion will make someone vulnerable, and then we get a card. Hemokinesis is great. 
I love hemokinesis. I want to go to a bonfire. Let's go. Uh, we're pretty full, so let's smith. Um, when hemokinesis is upgraded, it just gets straight better. So, I love that. I love the idea of hammering cards and stuff. Uh, secret. Secret. Ah, it was secret. Mm, it was secret know, louses. <laughs> so he come. He he, he, he Very good. Kill me. Hemokinesis will now kill any of them in one hit. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then that'll kill him as well. Cool. And then he's just gonna buff to make himself stronger. His friends were dead. Yeah, he's alone now. How does it feel? How does it feel, Louse? So then we bash him, and then that makes him weaker, so we can definitely kill him. Palmal he strike is good. Damage. Yeah. Big boss. Okay. Uh, Gaping. Ew. So we'll bash him. What is it? It's a Legovovin. Oh, the hair on my neck stood up. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I bashed him, so he's weaker. So now he'll take more damage oh, from that. He's still a little confused. Look at him. And then... Don't you feel sorry for him? What is that? It makes me draw a card. No, I don't. I hate this guy. So he's stunned, which is good. So we'll hit him with a hemokinesis. Dang. And then we'll iron wave him. And then he's going to do 18 to me, so I'm going to have to tank Might that. as well, yeah. Yeah, so. Shaboodles. All right. Doing good. Doing very good. He's going to hit me for 13. Uh, may as well draw. That was dumb. I shouldn't have thrown that card away. Now I take 13. You got him. You got this. Don't I worry do. about it. Um, so, I hit him with the thing that makes him weak again. And then every time you use this card, it gets stronger. It doubles in strength. Or no, it gets stronger by 8. But it just starts at 8. Yes, you're right. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Horn Cleat. You gain 14 block at the start of your second turn. Wow. Wait, what does it do? Um, double tap. Double tap's good. Uh, then where to? <laughs> monster or monster? Um, let's do... Ooh, let's do the right monster. Okay. It's a, it's a looter and a spike slime. Oh, get the looter first. He might steal your bar. He does intact... Fuck. He steals your money. Um... Hmm. Let's get the strength buff. Should have done that first, in fact. Oh, I don't want him to steal our cards. He only steals money. Oh, okay. He does steal a lot of it, but... All right. Can you get the money off his dead body? Yeah. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Then what's the point of him even stealing money? Well, he'll eventually run away. <gasps> oh, I see. No! I've been defeated. So I'll put this away, and now I can have it next turn. And he's just going to lick me. So whatever. So we use double tap, and then we use uppercut. He's just trying to kill. make friends, but he doesn't know how. So yeah, he stole my gold, but I sold it back. And then... Headbutt's good. And then bonfire, bonfire. Let's go to bonfire. Oh, I think bonfire. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good idea. Uh, risky. It is risky, but it's more, more. I don't have any good cards to upgrade, actually. You have to fight the big, big boy. Yeah, I do. <gasps> it's a large slum. It's a slime with a hat. Yeah. So, um, he's not going to attack me. So let's deal nine damage and draw a card. No, that's okay. I was hoping that the card would have been better, but whatever. He's going to goop spray us. So that puts all those slime cards into our discard. Mm. So eventually that's all going to come back in. Uh, let's headbutt him. 
And then let's put uppercut back in. And then... Imagine you, like, switching, like, pockets and having to, like, dig through all the slime. Yeah. And turn. Doing good. Mm-hmm. Slime crush. It's more of, like, a goop. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Mm. Oh, my God. Okay. So I might have interrupted him on his attack. And yeah, I did. So now he is divided into smaller slimes. Oh, I thought he was going to like split as in like he was just going to go. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll just go. 10 damage or three vulnerable. Uh, let's do this one because it'll weaken him. And then we'll hit him again. Probably could have defended there though. Would have been smarter. But I've got a lot of health. Um, I'm nearly full, in fact, so I don't really mind the fact that I won't be doing that. All these fucking slimes. Uh, because I've been hit twice, Blood Fill Blood now costs two instead of four. So okay. now I can do that. The thing about Blood for Blood is that it's only based oh, off that of... that sucks. Yeah, it's only based off of how much... How many times you've been hit, not for how much. So you can get hit once for, like, 30 this dude <laughs> and it only goes down by one um get the little guys they do 10 each you're right it's prudent um they only have two so oh regular strike perfect yeah perfect and then I've got three defense so I'm only gonna take 13 which is still a lot god damn you dude luckily those get gone at the end of battle but Double tap. Woo! Dang. And that interrupted his attack, so now I can just tap him. Woo, 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 woo. So that's the first uh, thing. A you regen did potion. Yeah, and then a card. Uh, barricade. That's awesome. Fiend fire. Mm. Impair. That's good. Big chest. And then. Um, Oh, tiny house is good. Why is tiny house good? Because it gives you a bunch of stuff. <gasps> What'd you get? It upgraded uh, my really awesome card that I just got. And then we get another card. Um, hmm. Well, I guess we're going for a block build now, so I may as well, all right? So yeah, act two, the city. Where'd it start? Mm, I want to start to the right. That's where I would have gone. It's a pair. So. Wow. This is beautiful. Can we just appreciate the scenery right now? Yeah. Um, I know it's nothing like Marwin, but it's reminding me of Marwin and its strangeness. That's fair. It is kind of strange. Cause like what even what even is are their structures made out of? Yeah, right? It's cool. So I did a thing that made it so every time I did an attack, I got healed. Or I got armor, rather. You know what they look like? Hmm. Hornet's nest to me. Ah. I'm sorry, but what did you say? I did a thing so every time I uh, did an attack, I got defense. Very good. Mm -hmm. And I don't need to defend that turn because it was turn two and I got all my armor. So will you ever get like an upgrade in your total health? Yes. I've actually just got one. Oh, oh, I see. So barricade is amazing because it means that armor that I get won't go away at the end of my turn. I can definitely tell that these little enemies have gotten much stronger. Yeah. But so have you, so that's okay. Yeah. No, the one is so proud of himself. Yeah. Oh, God, now they're going to make us do math? But now... This only costs one, and I put double tap down. So, chew through them. And then I've got one more. So... Oh, strike, strike, or strike? Yeah, just do six, why not? So I've only got one left here, so at the end of my, start of my next turn, everything will get brought back in. We gotta get rid of those slimes. Oh, they're all gone. Oh, really? Yeah, they're all gone now. Uh, how did you get rid of them? They leave at the end of any battle. Mm, I see. I shouldn't do that, actually. Um... Let's do Iron Wave for five. Oh, God, he's got that. 
I might actually have to do that. Damn. Well, hey, you did really good. Well, it, it cost me health is all. Oh, I see. It costs health every time you do that. Um, Thunderclap is good. Wait, Let's two. do a question mark. Spasm coin? I mean, we have all good cards, so... Yeah, sorry. sorry. You will never make a difference. You never do. Oh my god, he sounds like my professor. Let's go to the next enemy. All right. Hey. This guy's got my ability to uh, defend. Um, hmm. I really got to give a shout out to uh, the creators for the designs of these enemies. The art team is pretty good on this game, yeah. See, on the one hand, I am thankful for Kate showing me this game, but on the other hand, this is my new crack, so got that going for me. I mean, if it wasn't this, it would have been... Well, not necessarily. What is, uh, what is um, Death Stranding, then? Death Stranding is like, I don't know, something. Now confirm that. So he's hitting me for 10, but I don't care because I had a lot of armor. It reminds me of like kind of like a Final Fantasy 10 enemy. Oh, that was stupid. What did you do? I played an ability and then I couldn't do anything afterwards. They are a little like Final Fantasy. Are you thinking of the Malboros? I just remember them as big floating balls and a lot of them electrocuted you. Well, electrified. <laughs> Sometimes they electrocuted my character. Oh my god, you're so pedantic about this. <laughs> this is the one thing that you're pedantic about. Well, I love teaching people that we've been using it wrong the entire time. So look, now that I've been, I've been hit so many times, Blood for Blood is now free. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So I did very bad. So you survived? I survived. The issue is that... Oh, crap. Oh, um... Is that a bonfire? This is a bonfire, though. Oh, oh, I see. Um, hmm, how much money do you have? Well, if I go to the merchant now, I'll stop getting extra money. Hmm. And this is a bonfire. So do or don't go to the merchant, you think? I would say don't. Okay. A grim, oh yeah, oh. 12 cards. Match them to keep them, five tries, no do-overs. You ready? Let's start. Ooh, ooh, I wanna do it. Okay. okay. Um, let me do it. Okay. Um. No. Darn. Did I oh. do okay? Yeah, it was good. I will say, I think you got me a cursed card. Oh, did I? Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that Rise was not good. Yeah. <laughs> whoopsie, whoopsie. All right. Well. Oh, boy. Yeah, see? So I can't get rid of this. It's unplayable. Um, let's not let that get us down. Rage will make it so I gain block uh, whenever I do an attack. Um, and this will weaken someone and damage them. Oh man, this is tough. So I've now done a lot of damage and gained some armor. And I can end my turn. So they're all doing rituals to buff themselves. I really just... You do not belong here. I really just, like, was so confident about that card that I put it near a deck. Yep. You did literally curse me. All right, 13 damage, one weak, and one vulnerable. Um, 26 damage to you. Oh, wow. Oh, because the vulnerable stacks, and now I can... Do nothing. Well, do nothing because you're out of mana or whatever that is. But that's fine. Energy. And because of my armor, I can just tank that all. 
for free. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. And I'm still regenerating as well, so I'm higher than I was. Uh, Barricade. Mm. And then defend. So irrelevant. That one hurt. And that one hurt less, but I'm now doing not good. Mm. And they keep buffing themselves for more and more strength. Um, hmm. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh baby. I was slain. That's okay. Now it's my turn. Do you wanna? Kinda. Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. I get the big boy chair. Well. Oh yeah. god. Okay. Wait, we get to switch? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, Sarah's turn first time on my show that anyone has ever taken the chair aside from me. Oh, oh my god, oh. my difference oh, is no. so bad. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, the whole setup. Wait, do you want to switch <laughs> it's back? All based around how <laughs> tall we are. Here. Just <laughs> Should I cut the video? No, I won't. <laughs> all right, here. I'll bring my chair out here. And then I'll be right here? Yeah. Okay. We're so stupid. Does this fix anything, actually? Yes, it fixes things. See? Okay, look at that. Now we're both in view. And, well, I'm kind of in view. Yeah. Can't bend any further. All right. I can talk into it. Can you? And I can talk into it, yeah. All right, cool. All right. All right, I will embark. Mm-hmm. Greetings. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm completely unfamiliar with the game. So, um, oh goodness, I don't know. Your starting relic is really good, so don't get rid of it. Okay. What do you think? I would keep your gold. I would do one of the first two. Those are usually safer. Oh, max. Mm, I'll maximize my. Mm, I'll transform a card. Okay. Uh, how do I trans... Would Just it, pick one. What would you do? It'll be random. I would get rid of one of your defense. Or a strike. Something generic. Oh, huh. Headbutt. Is that good? That's good. All right. Granted. Okay. Um, I will start here. Slimes. Slimes. Okay. Um... Deals eight damage, apply two vulnerable, deals six damage. Until this costs two. That's six, six. Um, oh, I could do. Bam. And then. Yes. And then. Yes. Good. Okay. And you end your turn. And it all goes around from the top. And he's gonna lick me. So licking you is not so bad. Mm -hmm. If you mouse over it, you'll see what it does. It's the little icon next to your health bar. Uh. Under your guy. Oh, I see. So cards that would give you block now give you less block. Oh, well that's okay. Deal nine damage. Put a card from your discard pile. Um, blah blah blah. So. So if you do that, you'll be able to get bash or one of the other things you spent put it back on top, so next turn you'll be sure to get it. And then let's do that, and that, and we're gonna end the turn. And well, he's gonna, gonna lick you. He's gonna lick me. Which is fine, because you haven't even needed to armor yourself. And now you get bash guaranteed. So but I could just... Just go evil. He's dead. He's dead, he's now. dead now. So you click on each one you want. Uh, I can have both, right? Yeah. Um, which one would you do? Um... Deal four damage and apply one vulnerable. On To all enemies. Yes. Put a card from your... 
You know, I like Thunderclap. Okay. So if you want, there's a bunch of things that you can spec every character around. Um, just like with any card game, like that has like a character you pick and then a deck that you pick for them, like with Hearthstone. You fall into a puddle. It's made of slime goop. Slime goop. Frantically, you call yourself out. To, uh, I feel goop in your ears, goop in your nose, goop in your... Everywhere. Why did you say everywhere? Climbing out, you notice that some of your gold is missing. Looking, <laughs> looking back to... Oh, my gold. I'll get more gold. I haven't had my glasses on all session, so I'm going to go get those. Oh, no, don't leave me alone. Nope. Okay, so another mystery. Among the stone and boulders, you notice an intricate, large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there's more inside. Um, I hate it when gold spills from my cracks. Uh, what do you think? Pray? Is this to just to find more gold? Who knows? <gasps> you could take the risk. I'm going to take the risk. Someone once told you... Okay. What did I do? What are you giving up? Uh, let's do... Do I get better block cards later? Um, you can. You definitely get better attack cards. Okay. Confirm. Okay, do I get anything? I don't know. I guess I did it. Oh... I have headed... Oh, another mystery. As you walk into the room, you hear a gurgling and grinding of the metals before your slime-like creature that eat too much scrap for its own good. From the center of the creature, you see glints of strange light, perhaps something magical. It looks like you can get some treasure. Uh, if you reach inside, opening, however, the acid is sharp. Relics are good. Ouch! You got a lot of health. Hey! Success! What'd you get? You can mouse over to see. Old coin. Gained 300 gold. Wow. Wow. That's not bad. Now what do I do? Now you can leave. You sure? Yeah. You won't get rid of it? Yeah. Okay. Can I just click it, I guess? No, Wait. you already have it. Oh. It just gave you that many golds. Very good. Okay, so mm -hmm. I have some tough guys up ahead. Yes. I only have 50 health. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to be strong. You're going to have to play smart. Okay. Jawworm. So that guy's going to attack you for 11. Okay. Can I defend twice? Yeah. You can do as many cards as you have energy and the card cost. It's like Hearthstone. Okay. How long does Vulnerable last? Vulnerable, I think you can mouse over it. I forget how long. Uh, for one turn. Oh, so it goes away after this? Yes. But you'll get the you'll get that card back uh, in like two turns. Okay. Because your whole thing is going to be recycled. All right, let's try it. There you go. So now you only take one damage. Ouchie. Okay. Um, I like the looks of that. Okay, and we're gonna do Thunderclap. Um. Okay, let's see. Um, I cannot afford to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a regular strike, and then we're gonna sit back and do a thing because I'm a chicken. <laughs> well, you've only taken three damage this whole battle now, cumulatively. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you're going to attack him, use something that'll weaken him first. So Thunderclap will weaken him. Okay, and you he, can he, mouse okay. over his intent and see what he's going to do. He's going to block and buff. So he's not actually going to attack you. I see. He's going to make himself tougher, but... Let's do Thunderclap. So now he's been made vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And now that did 12 instead of 9. 
Uh, and then we're gonna strike. And I did nine instead of six. Okay. And, and then we'll, he's gonna end turn. We'll end turn? Okay. And then he's going to do his buff and block, just like he said. Bellow makes strength to go up, and it makes him defended. Okay. So now you gotta go lethal, because he's gonna hit you for 14, and you don't have enough to defend from that. Uh-oh. So he blocked the first hit, but you've got more. I'll go big. Yeah. There you go. He did. So... Um, for future, use anything that renders them vulnerable before hitting them with any other attack. Didn't I? So I used thunderclap, and that was made yes, them vulnerable. Yes, and that was smart. Mm -hmm. But for reference, bash also uh, does the same thing. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Add a card to your deck. Um, can only be played if every card in your okay. And it's oh, a wow. really good one. It's free and it does fourteen. Gain eight block. And you get another card. Or another thunderclap. So if you like thunderclap, you can get another copy of it and cycle I it back. I really into the like clash. Clash is cool. Proceed. Big boy. Oh, big boy. Oh. I'll help you. I'm so weak. Are you? No. I'm a strong girl. So he's asleep. Uh, from your discard pile. So there's nothing in your discard so pile, so if you play that, you wouldn't get anything. So I'll just strike him three times. Does that sound smart? Well, you could strike him twice and then headbutt him because Headbutt has more damage and then you'll get one of the strikes back. Do not like, am, am scared. Yeah, you can get the strike back. In turn. oh no, he's spooky. Yeah, they're weird. Lagavulin. Okay. So they're aggressive and he's gonna hit you for 18 damage. So what I would do is defend. But I can't, I can't use this card, can I? Until you get some of your stuff out of your inventory. Because the only thing... Okay. Defend is a skill card. That means that you won't be able to use... But I have all of these hit cards, right? Yes. So I just cannot feasibly do that. So just ignore this for now? For now. Okay. Use defend. Trust me. Use defend. Okay. Because it'll take the edge off that hit. Bash him because you'll deal damage and he'll make him vulnerable. Now use Clash. Whoa! Okay, wait, I thought Thunderclap was a damage card. Okay, go to your discards. Uh-huh. Read it. Read Clash. It can only be played if every card in your hand is... And it's... I thought it said if every card in your hand is... Uh if you get rid of all of your attacks in your hand. No, you have to be uh, full aggressive. That is a that is a uh, OP card, honestly. Oh, it's really good, it's really good. The thing is, you just have to get everything out of your inventory. You have to get all the not cards out. And so I've been screwed trying to do that before. Ouch. Okay. So he's gonna do another 18 to you. And you've got pretty much, uh, you've got a similar thing. Yeah, I do, okay. Um, deal four. Okay, we're gonna defend. And then always use your vulnerable card first. Any card that'll make them vulnerable. Yeah. And then, using this? Nine damage, yep. And then get either of those back. Then we do clash. Yep. Wow. Yes. That was pretty good. So yeah, making building yourself around making enemies vulnerable and then doing big damage to them is really good. So I did thirteen to you instead of Ouchie. the full eighteen. And you can see that next turn he's gonna do something else. Mm, something different. Strategic. A powerful negative effect on you. What does that mean? It means a powerful negative effect. So Try to go lethal. He's still vulnerable, but you can stack more vulnerability on him. But he's not going to attack your health, so defending would be pointless. Okay. Okay. I can do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's gonna take my gold. You just have to tank this next attack. Okay, so he made you a lot weaker. Okay, okay. But. So, let's defend. 
outlet. You'll kill him if you clash him. I mean, I'll kill him if I do that too. You'll kill him if you do anything. <laughs> All right. Thread the needle. Oh, I thought it said thread the needle. <laughs> That's a really good ability, or a relic rather. All right. Okay, gain seven block, exhaust one card at random. What does that mean? Exhaust means that it goes to a different pile that's not your discard and does not get shuffled back in when you run out of cards. Mm, okay. Uh, cost one less. Blood for Blood is that amazing ability I had earlier. It's based on how many times you get hit, not for how much. Ooh, I'm going to do that then. Mm -hmm. Ooh, my spoils. Spoils of war. Oh, my God. God, all these guys back to back to back. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's that's the thing, you know? That's the game. But you start with plated armor, so you can mouse over it to see what plated armor does. You gain four block. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I got a vulnerable card. Uh, okay. Um, that's useless. Let's do some vulnerability. Uh Get him. Bonus damage, and you get your vulnerability back, and you get the bonus damage off of the vulnerability itself. Okay. So the cultists, you might have seen, always buff their strength first and then start the fight, which means that you can set up on him much like you're doing. Mm -hmm. You do not belong here. Vulnerability wears off, and he's a little strong. Okay. But you can do another vulnerability. Because it costs two. Oh, is that not smart? Maybe not. Oh, that, that, yeah, that makes sense. But you'll survive. You'll just take one damage. Or you could defend. Take less. No, put it back. Okay, I'm just gonna... Bam. Because if you would have thunderclapped him, he would have had that vulnerability, and then you could hit him twice with strikes. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. So you only took two damage because of your uh, thingy, uh, the the threaded needle. I got this. I got this. Watch this. Mm-hmm. I got this. Perfect. Add a card to your deck. Okay. Deal ten damage. If fatal, raise your max. Ooh. Ooh. I've never been able to get that card to fire, and I've often avoided it in my runs, but it's good. Mm. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Deal two damage to deal two damage four times. So eight damage. Yes. Okay. Gains two strength at the end of this turn, lose two strength. So for one turn, you will buff strength. Okay, um, I'm gonna get that. Okay. Okay, one more, one more, and then I could just have a small break. Mm hmm then you get treasure. I get treasure. And then one more, and then you get a choice again. Slim! Oh my god. Um. He's gonna attack you for 11. Boom. Boom. And boom. Nice. Was that good? Yeah, you got one more energy, though. So why don't you just... Uh, <gasps> get that. Get Clash back. <laughs> nice. Isn't Headbutt really useful? Mm-hmm. So you block no. that, you slime you. But those go to your discard. So you won't get them again until they come back around. Okay. Let's defend. And then we will... I mean, you can clash him now. I can, but... Oh, yeah, he's yeah. smart. He's vulnerable first. Yeah. And then... Clash. And then... Uh... Strike. Uh, and then... Darn! Darn! I know! Darn! I know! Ah. If only you had one more. Ah. <sighs> I thought, didn't I? The, it was all here. Oh, that's interesting. Cost one less for you. Okay. Uh, 
Um, okay. Um, that's pretty smart. Mm hmm. Okay, six. So that's eight damage to Wonderwall. And it costs two. I could do six, then. So it would be a little smarter to just do three. Yes, it would. Yeah. And to uh, get rid of big guy first. Doing more damage to you? The 10? Oh, right. Thanks for that. Mm hmm. Yep, he's going to do a new turn. And now you only take three, I think, instead of six. Yeah. Mm hmm. And then you get another thing and you discard that. Then I get slimed. Yeah. Wow. Uh. And then you can kill him with strike or headbutt, so. Get him. dead. You've done it. You got Sneko oil. Oh. Draw five cards. Randomize the cost of cards in your hand. Add a card to your deck. At the end of uh, your turn, lose one HP and deal five damage to. Okay, okay. That one's great. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the things about Sword Boomerang is that it is cheap and it will do nine damage. You just can't choose where it goes. I kind of like Twin Strike, honestly. That's fine too. Okay. Treasure. You get to pick. Right or left? Left. Stone calendar. At the end of turn seven, deal 52 damage. What the fuck? That's pretty cool. That's really good. Why is it so good? That's pretty great. Does it only pop once? I guess it, it probably has to, right? Oh my god. All right, one more enemy. Oh, I got this. Yeah, I got it's this. a rego enemy. Oh, that's one of these guys. Okay. Um. So he's gonna hit you for twelve. So you're not gonna kill him this turn, but feed will do more damage. So I would recommend using feed, even though the pop won't take effect. You know what? You're right. Because it does more damage. Then you're good. Turn. And because of your amazing uh, setup of perks, you only take three damage from that twelve damage attack. God damn you. <laughs> Okay. He's going to hit you again. Uh, deal four damage, one vulnerable. It's two vulnerable. Deal. Oh, okay. Let's block. Let's bash. And then let's clash. Very smart. Okay. Good, good. He knocked me on my booty just a little bit. Uh, twin strike. Boop -a <laughs> Very good. Distilled chaos. That is an amazing potion. I've gotten that a few times. It's super good. Will you remind me to use my items, by the way? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, headbutt. Reliable. Uh... Body slam is usually only good if you have a block build, and you've even gotten rid of some cards that block for you, so. Oh, Bonfire Chan, sweet Bonfire Chan. <laughs> so you can only upgrade or, so before you pick that, mm -hmm. you can only upgrade or sleep. sleep, and after it is a hard enemy, mm -hmm. but there's a normal enemy and then a bonfire. Do I get more after a hard enemy? You get more loot, yeah. Mm, I... Your choice. Up to you. I don't think it's smart. I don't think it's smart to do this. Well. Because then you get loot, choice, and then bonfires are all at the end. Hmm. Okay. Let's go risky. Okay. Now get yourself out. I'm gonna sleep. I'm going to go sleepy. I'm going to proceed. And we're going to go to a hard guy. Oh, what are these? They're sentries. Now remind me to use my items if I should. Okay. Um, One guy's going to attack you for nine damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then you've got clash. Yes. Let's... 
let's defend. Let's thunderclap mm -hmm. to this guy. Oh wait, does it to all? It's okay. all. That's another reason why thunderclap is so good. Now the thing is, they had artifact up, which means that it got protected from it. But you've got more. It was also only one turn of vulnerable. Yes. Okay. Oh, so dazed goes into your discard, but that's okay. You block that attack completely. Oh, okay. So there is a specific build that you can do where you deal damage to an enemy every time you draw a curse or status or anything like that. Hey, so you could headbutt I know. the middle one. Yeah. Let's try this. And then we're going to do Clash, you think? I'm going to do Clash. Okay, do Clash. And then... Feed. Feed. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to hit you for nine each. You basically got regenerating armor like a Master Chief. So Ouch. you took nothing. And that was the full Ouch. Nine. Okay, now let's try this. All right. Do you have all, are those all attacks? Yeah, they are. So you can start with clash. Yes, I can. Unless you've got bash. Mm-hmm. Let's do, no, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna do, Headbutt will get you to recycle your deck, but Twin Strike does more damage. And your deck is going to be recycled next turn anyway. It will? Oh, right. Okay. Um. And then Clash. Nice. Damn, son. And that's another one, Dawn. Oh, he's going to put more shit in my deck. God damn it. And then all of that just now gets recycled fresh into your stuff. Oh, please. So, yeah, see, it's taking up space in your things. Oh, okay. Okay, and then we're going to defend. And what are we going to do again? We're going to defend. Okay. I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me. Um, you could headbutt and get the vulnerable out. Twitch strike. Boom, boom. There okay. you go. Do your worst. I did his worst. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. Okay. If I don't kill him, I might get feed next. Yes. Which would up my HP. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think that that's risky, but you should try it. Okay. Just end turn. No, no, no. I'm gonna just deal a little damage. Okay. And then end turn. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh. Ouch. Is it in there? It's not no. in there. Oh my god, is it in here? No. It's the last card. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's because of all the days that he put in your fucking deck. Oh, well, try blood for blood. You're either gonna take damage you don't need to take before the boss, or you're gonna have to put up or shut up, you know? Yeah. Okay. Right. Gremlin horn. The enemy dies. Good stuff. Okay. Gain 10 block. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. So that every time something like dazed gets put into your hand, you do damage to everyone. Oh wow. Yeah, it's really powerful. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm hmm That's great. Then merchant or question mark? Um, merchant. 
I've got 600 gold, so. Welcome! Uh, at the end of three turns, deal 40 damage to all enemies. Holy shit. Oh, man. Okay. How so, many can I buy at once? As many as you have money. Whenever you draw. You've got 600. You could just get all of them. Oh, man. What are these? Relics and items. Can you look what that is? The blue one? No. Here? Uh, that one's really good. But it's only on the second turn, so... If Can I get it over and over again? No. Well, you, it happens every time, yeah. It's a relic. Oh, so that just exists. Yeah, it goes on your character and stays there forever. Okay. Do I still have those cards on me? Hmm? Do I still have those awful cards on me? No, no. All those oh. get all those get dumped at the end, just like with slime. I want this. It's pretty good. And I would get another copy of uh, the thing that's on sale. Pawn pickup. That's not very good. Okay. And then all of those are just yeah. mediocre potions. Whenever you draw a stone. Okay. So any bad card, if you have that up, you will just deal damage for free. Enemy loses nine strength. So that really, really depowers them. Mm, okay. So if you use it on like a boss, like the boss that's coming up, it'd be pretty good. <laughs> okay. Um, then I could probably get one more. Cleave is good too. Deals all enemies. All yeah. right. You're, all right. And you're done. How was that? That's a pretty good shopping trip. All that money probably helped. We've got to have money. All right. Oh man. Uh. So how does this work? You cast it. Mm-hmm. I would do so now. Okay. Does it last forever? For the entire battle. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I would defend and feed and use clash. Uh, defend. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, feed. Then use Clash. All right. Okay. That mm -hmm. was pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to turn this. Okay. I'm a little weak. Um, Thunderclap. So, okay. Whenever you draw, does this act twice, or? Yeah, you can put as many times as you want. <gasps> and they never go away? And they never go away for the entire battle. So, I had, I, I had this one run, I think it was last episode, where I just had them up, and every time it went off, it just killed things. I love that. It just kept happening. Oh, man. Uh, oh man, deal three damage. Oh shoot, no. Okay, um, deal three damage twice. Dang. You've been weakened, you see. Yeah, I've been real weakened. Mhm. Mm um, but you could use a strike and just solve the problem of the slime. Yeah, that's true. Mm. And then you'd still have one. Hey. That's not bad. That's not bad. And I could use. Mm hmm. And then. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad at that's all. That's not bad. And then he's going to buff up. Um, I think he's Bello. Yeah. So his strength go up, and he gets defense. Ooh. Um. <laughs> I don't know if you'll last another three turns, so you could just try to get this over with quicker. At the end of three turns? Deal 40 damage to all enemies. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's really good, but... I'm going to do... Okay. Shoot, man. Well, you could either bash him and then hit him with headbutt. Or you could defend, strike, and headbutt. 
Mm. Defend, strike, and magnify. I'll defend. I'll strike. You know what? And I'll headbutt. I'll do that. I'll do it. And then what are you getting back? Blood um, for blood is now cheaper because uh, you got hit. Cost one less for each time you lose HP. Or okay. you get clash. One left. Yeah, give me one second. Okay. Uh, clash. Dang, okay. Alright, I'll enter. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is exciting. Mm hmm. Okay, I got him. Enemy loses nine strength this turn. Uh, and that card's free. Oh. Shackled. Um. Oh, okay. I have so many options. You. Um. And then. I have a non attack. Oh, okay. And then. Yeah! yeah! All right. My gold, explosive potion, and another card. Oh man. Berserk is good. Flex is good too, though. You might like flex. In seven block. It's like that shit from Dark Souls Three where you you stance up before you swing. Hmm. What's this? This orange thing. Uh, energy. So it makes you weaker. Oh, okay. I'll do true grit. Okay. All right. Bonfire. So you've actually got most of your health, so you would actually waste some if you healed. So I would Smell. upgrade a card. Okay. Um, so some of these things dramatically change when you upgrade them. How do I? Just click on one. You'll see. Whoa. So it starts costing one less. Wow, do you like that? Cancel. I kind of like that. Well, shop around. Fire breathing upgraded is amazing. Whenever Goes you up draw. to 10. Wow. Dang, son. So yeah, I've had an upgraded fire breathe go off and it just, it just kills things. Enemy loses nine strength. So how does that change? 15 strength and it's still free. So sometimes exhaust cards lose that. So you can keep using them over and over. Sometimes it's just a generic damage upgrade. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good. good. I'm going to do that. I mean, it's more damage anyway. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. It also make it easier to kill with it. It's Percent. very situational. Okay. Fight. Remind me that I have items, please. Mm -hmm. And then after this, we have to go to dinner. Yes. All right. Okay. Use that chaos potion right now. A uh, chaos potion? Yep. Play. Just play the top three cards. Just whatever they are. Okay. Drink it. Whoa. <laughs> what happened? All of those went off for free. Wow. And yeah. I can just drink that every time, or? No. Oh, it's, it's just. An item. It's gone now, but that's the boss. So let's do, let's <laughs> let's kill him. You know. Okay, okay. And then we'll save the rest. Oh, and these are just, they exist. Yeah, they stay on. Oh, nice. This is nice. Okay, um. So I would get rid of the boss's strength as well, which is really free. And he is not going to attack. Where, what card do I use? That one. Enemy loses. Okay, okay. Just this turn, though? No. Oh, the whole battle? Yeah, look at it. Oh, no, this turn. Never mind. Oh, shoot. I'm blind. Um, so that's the next turn, right? Yeah, but he's not going to attack you next turn. Oh, so just don't worry about it? Don't worry about it. Um, okay. I'll just set that off right now. Yep. Why not? Uh. Gain seven block, exhaust one card at random. So it'll just get rid of one of your cards at random. Oh, I don't like that. If you want, you can just keep this turn going with uh, 
like end the turn with one HP left or um, one energy left. Does that give me an extra one or? No. No. Okay. And end my turn. Oh, I don't like that. That's so cute. You are. You're beautiful. I just like looking in my webcam and seeing how cute I am. The light is actually a little better over here, so my hair looks lighter. Uh. So he's gonna do uh, 32 damage to you. Oh, oh, yeah, that would uh, hurt. Mm -hmm. But it's turn two, so you have 14 armor. Mm. However, um, I would still do some more things to uh, go about that. Wise. Yeah. No. Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And then. Boom. Nice. Okay. You've actually annoyed his attack. I don't mind that. Mm hmm. He's in defense mode. So I think you poke your hands when you hit him now, but that's fine. Whenever you draw a status or curse card. Okay, just put that on. Why not? If, if it ever procs, it'll just do more damage. So that's the little 12 right there. So now if that procs, it does 12. And if that keeps coming up, that damage, that number keeps getting higher. Should I? He'll do nine to you next turn. And how much do I have? How much block? You have four right now. So five wouldn't do it completely. Okay. And then just hit him on it. Why not? In turn. Okay. Mom wore off and you deal 14. Alright. He's no okay. longer vulnerable. Your thing reset. Alright. I'll do vulnerable. Thunderclap? Yep, why not? And I will. Headbutt. Now bear in mind, his uh, armor is poking you when you hit him. Oh, shoot. Which is just a thing that you kind of can't deal with. However, you will be healed a full whenever you kill him. Just kill him. Kill him. Kill him dead. Mm -hmm. Okay. I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. I could mm -hmm. do it. Okay. Mmm. Ouchies. His sharp hide is off, so now you will not be hurt when you hit him. But he is going to deal 20 damage to you next turn. He's going to attack for 20. Okay. Yes? Yeah? Hey. Hey, we hey. were interrupted by my brother. Don't worry about that. That's fine. Don't, Don't worry, worry about, about it. That. You need to open the window again? Uh, it's that little thing. This? Sarah tries to use a Windows computer. Episode 19. This one. Ooh, yes. I did it. Yeah. All right. Where was I? Um, he was going to hit you, you were going to hit him. We are going to hit each other, deal 8 damage, okay. Deal 4 damage. Blech. Deal 9 damage. Yeah. And, uh, headbutt. Why not keep recycling your headbutts? Yeah. It's environmentally friendly. Oh, he's going to bring the pain. Ruckus. Okay. All right, your regenerating armor has gone away now. Oh, I'm in pain. Okay. Um. Bash. Oh no. Five. Okay. Twenty-one. And you've done more than half of his health bar. Okay. Keep it going. End your turn. Oh no. He's gonna buff up. He's charging, you see. I'm afraid. I'm Shit. terrified. You've been hit quite a lot, so um, blood for blood is free. That's delicious. Mm-hmm. You can also just get rid of nine of his strength. And that 32 damage attack will become 23. Use Blood for Blood first, just in case yep. that's the card it burns. Oh, hey, now you don't even need to bo uh, bother with it. 
You can just bomb and strike. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And you're done. Okay. All right. What? <laughs> the bomb went off. <gasps> Yay! I only got 16 health. Oh, that's uh, awesome. You could probably go lethal right now. Yeah, I could. Eight damage, and it'll put him to vulnerable. And then ten damage, while vulnerable. There you <gasps> go! I did it! You did it. All right. Oh, that's an awesome place to, to, to call it. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you put in your deck, son? Oh my god. At the start of your turn, lose one HP and draw a card. Blech. Deal four damage to all enemies, heal HP equal to... Ooh. That one's awesome. Vampire decks are great. Deal ten damage. Hey. Hey. Alright. That's awesome. And what loot you get? Choose your relic. Um, tiny house. Tiny house is good. Tiny House will give you a permanent um, HP upgrade, more card, and it'll upgrade a card. Gain... What is that? Gain uh, energy at the start of your turn. Okay. Is that forever? It's a relic. So yeah, I get four. Forever? I think so. Ooh. Gain... Whenever you open a chest that is not from a boss, you get cursed. Oh. <laughs> but you have a build for curse, and it's not necessarily terrible. I'm gonna get tiny house. Tiny house. Tiny house. Tiny house upgraded fire breathing. Very good. And it good. gives you gold and a potion and a card. You have three potions, so get rid of one of those. Uh, or get rid of tiny house as a potion. Which which potion should I get rid of? Well, you can read them. Um. Draw some cards. Gains you armor, does damage. I'll get rid of this one. Okay. How do I get rid of it? Click it. Discard. Okay. Um, gain five block. Oh, that's cool. Armament is really good. Whenever you play an attack the turn. Play an attack. Deal seven damage, deal shuffle a daze into your draw pile. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and you have that curse build, and that curse build just got upgraded, actually. So. I like that. All right. Let's cut that episode then. All right. This has been Friday Night Roguelikes. This has been Slay the Spire, now featuring Sarah. Yeah, now featuring me. Uh, see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye. Bye bye.